Hello and welcome everyone to Last Level Press. I'm Mr. Black, and this is yet another Fallout New Vegas mod spotlight. Today we are taking a look at the Mosin Nagant by Epidox, a Fallout New Vegas weapons crafter whose work I have spotlit in the past, and this one caught my eye, seeing as the Mosin Nagant is one of my favorite Russian welcome, firearms, sir or madam. which I am not ashamed to admit I was first introduced to by Metal Gear Solid 3 with the ENDS rifle. It is purchasable at the Gunrunners for just over 5,000 caps along with its suppressor, modern scope, and classical scope modifications. The entire bundle of the weapon plus its modifications will run you just over roughly 10,000 caps, and the weapon is statted as follows. It requires 50 gun strength, 6 strength, deals 105 DPS with 78 damage per shot, weighs 4 pounds, is valued at roughly 4,000 caps, takes 308 Winchester rounds with 5 rounds per magazine, and as with most sniper rifles, deals a bonus critical chance. As I mentioned, there are also three separate modifications for this weapon, however, you'll only really be able to use two of them at any given time, seeing as uh, two of these are alternative scopes, which obviously one can't use both of at the same time. The Mosin Nagant Suppressor obviously silences the weapon, although it really should, more to the point, say suppresses the weapon, but that's just the firearms enthusiast in me getting hung up on semantics. As for the scopes, there are the Mosin Nagant Scope, which is the classic sort of World War II uh, Russian issue, and my only real misgiving with it is that its target reticle, when one actually aims in first person, isn't 100% historically accurate. However, uh, that is a very, very minor touch, and not one that will affect the game, in any way, uh, just as a fan of history, it uh, stood out to me as something that might stand to see a little improvement if there are any future updates planned for this weapon. As for the modern scope, it adds a 1P59 long range scope, which obviously increases the zoom range dramatically. Also, one quick note regarding the scopes, if you're using Project Nevada or a similar mod that allows you to scroll in and out to zoom in and out, you may do that as well with the scopes included in this mod. Now one quick little uh, sort of advisory warning when it comes to the scopes, if you want to use the classic scope, make sure that you install it first and not the modern scope because you can't overwrite one or the other due to engine limitations. It will only really respect whichever one you attach first, so if you're going to attach a scope, make sure it's the one you want. Model-wise, this is one of the best wooden furniture rifles that I've come across on the Nexus. A lot of little details went into the texturing of this rifle uh, with regard to things like weathering, uh, little cracks in the wood, splits that make it look like the wood is actually old and has been used on a battlefield, uh, and those go a long way in really giving this thing a rather impressive air of sort of authenticity and legitimacy. Now obviously with this being such a high quality model with such a high poly mesh, uh, this thing may not run particularly well for those with low-end machines, so bear that in mind before downloading this mod. As for its audio assets, this Mosin Nagant will source from whatever you're using for your default hunting rifle sound effects. And once again, quick note guys, if you noticed that that sound did not sound quite like that from your own game, it's because I am using the Improved Sound FX mod uh, for my game, which modifies my hunting rifle sound. And on that note, that about wraps the Mosin Nagant by Epidox. This is a rather bite-sized little mod, adding just a single weapon and its respective modifications to the Gunrunners. I'm not entirely sure whether or not it's actually added into the leveled lists. I don't believe so. I don't remember reading anything uh, to indicate as much. But if you guys know better, do please enlighten me as always. So, thank you for joining me for this mod spotlight here at Last Level Press. Again, I'm Mr. Black, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.